Here's a quick reshoot of uh, the DeWalt green rotary laser. It is the DW080LGS. So uh, this one stands out because of Bluetooth. This is incredible. Um, wait till you see what this does. Hey, uh, here's the deal. My original video was at night on a work site, um, or uh, at night on my work trailer, and um, it was just too dark, too dark. So apologize for the informal uh, room that we're in. Um, obviously, this is not under construction, but I wanted to get something that was better. You could see better. Uh, anyways, here's the rotary laser. It is beefy. It is mean. And believe it or not, this nice soft foam uh, padded thing looks like it would get in the way of the rotary laser. But you can see, it, I don't even notice it. And the fact that you can drop this thing, um, you can drop this thing on the ground and it's fine. I mean, this is pretty normal usage, right? It falls from a tripod. Uh, anyways. Don't do that to yours if you can avoid it, but this is meant to be a, a beefy unit. Here's um, something that's cool regarding tripod drops. And there's the laser pointing down. So of course you got the rotary, you got it going straight up and you got it going straight down. These little screw mounts, there's one here for using it um, horizontal and then if you want to throw a vertical plumb line up and down the walls, there's one right here. Here's the cool thing about this. You've got your tripod mount, it's a quick snap. So it's on the tripod, you just snap it in. Now because it's got these yellow um, brackets that, that are replaceable, super duper replaceable, uh, they're designed to snap so that if it falls on a tall tripod, it'll just snap off the tripod and this thing that can then tumble instead of taking that brunt. So anyways, let's get into this. <coughs> I guess we should show you what it comes with. The rotary laser obviously comes packed in this really nice T-Stack case. Here's what I want you to see on that. You see how this is blown out all the way up the corner? And then, oh, that's the lid padding. Nicely padded, by the way. And then this is blown out. I mean, very, you can't see that very well. But all the way around the corner, I mean, this experienced severe trauma before it got to me. And uh, I checked, I checked level, um, and the laser's fine. So something had to hit really hard for this and that to completely break on this nice case um, that, of course, works with the T-Stack system. Um, I don't know what it was, but it was severe, severe trauma. I got it. I saw the case was broken right when I opened it. I was sad because this thing was going to be damaged. It works perfectly. So, anyways, so with it, um, you've got your your charger, right? This is one of the cool things. It works with FlexVolt um, batteries. So you're never without, you're never without a battery. I mean, how many batteries do you have, right? Um, battery's got a little home. It comes with a compact two amp hour battery comes with a USB cable for charging your laser sensor. This extends your range from about 100 feet or, you know, from a, a solid 100 feet out to, um, what was it, 2,000 feet with a back display as well, back readout. And it can generate tones or not. Here's cool. Turn on Bluetooth here. And so instead of your normal 100 foot Bluetooth range, anywhere from 30 to 100 feet, this sends an RF signal to the laser. And so you can be, you know, 1,000 feet away, 2,000 feet away, getting a 5% grade, you know, a quarter mile away. And you can send the commands with your phone. And all of a sudden, you've got a 1,000 foot Bluetooth range because this uses an RF signal. So, and of course, the volume and all that. So, that's got a little home right there. You got your target card. What else did it come with? Mount for your laser finder. Everything fits perfectly, just kind of has its own little spot. I don't know why my batteries, chargers give me a hard time here. There we go. Battery I need out. Comes with obligatory green glasses, leave them in the plastic so they don't get scratched. And then this is a great, this is a nice mount. So you see on here, you've got your keyholes, 
you got your thing to pull it out and then you've got the fine tune adjustments so you can set it where it needs to go so that's all the accessories that it comes with and a couple of AA batteries it, it, it I think they originally intended to send it with a remote and mine did not come with a remote it might that rope might go right there um, but they might have said hey you don't need a remote because you've got your phone so everything has a home and everything fits nicely uh, of course the laser just drops right in the laser I just leave the battery on um, battery lasts this battery lasts by the way a couple days um, I looked up the specs to see how long it lasts and it is uh, 17 to 20 hours just this compact 2 amp hour battery it'll take any of the batteries DeWalt's battery flexible. so here we go snap the battery in can you see this? I can't. There we go. Turn the power on. Here it is. That's as long as self-leveling and everything takes. Okay, so let's say you bump it on the work site. Stops. Self-levels again. Ready to go. Now you can get a warning tone to, to, to sound if it's Two out of whack. Now here's the beauty. You've got of course all the controls right here. Let's see if I can get another light on that for you. You see it? There's the controls. You can reverse the laser. You can do a sweep. Um, X, Y axis adjustment. Bluetooth on or off. You can see mine is on. So here is the really cool thing about this rotary laser so DeWalt's tool connect app um, lets you locate your tools and all that can you see this it tells you how the thing is going it's on rotary temp battery is doing great um, blah 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 but actions and now you can control everything Let's say you want a more viewable line, right? So you can slow down the RPM. So here's this. So it says 600 RPM. Here's 1200 RPM. It's going to be a, um, a more solid line. You can see, do you see that one little dark spot right above the outlet? I just moved it a little bit. That's, yeah, there it is. It got disturbed. Now it lets you know. So turn it off. Oh, come on, come back. Turn it back on. You're good to go. And again, that can happen from 100 feet away with the uh, with the relay. You can, or with the uh, laser detector, that can happen from forever away. So you know, a thousand, two thousand feet. So 600 RPM. Now 150 RPM. This makes your line so easy to see. Wow! Imagine you're working in a, uh, you know, hanging a big long run of cabinets in a warehouse that will be a very distinct line it might drive you crazy but if you've got another half a dozen lasers going on in there you'll notice yours for sure and then this is nice instead of doing a full circle let's you know let's go back to normal speed you can do a sweep this does 15 degree 45 90 so right now it's on this says 360 so let's go to a 15 degree sweep isn't that cool you're not going to bother anybody else while you're working. Here's a 45. You can see I did the 45. Here's a 90. And it might be that's all you need for um, for your cabs. You know, if you're just doing an L-shaped. And now you've got a sweep that ends really pretty much at that corner. And doesn't even extend all the way to the bed. So there's your 90 degree sweep. Um, really super convenient. And then of course you can um, do all of your slope everything just right here this is really a cool 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 laser so um, oh by the way that's moves the sweep over so now it ends right there and goes you know to the other side of here and then let's hit it one more time let's see where it travels now it goes from that vanity wall anyways you get the idea This is by far the nicest laser I've, I've ever used. Um, 
it's very rugged. I don't know if you remember, we we, we dropped it and kind of tumbled it around a little bit. Um, I, I hate doing that to tools. I know they happen in the field, but I don't like to do it intentionally. But um, gosh, oh, there's the your, see your red. And then of course you got your line up here. But, well, that doesn't look very exciting. But anyways, there's the deal. This thing is tough. Um, I don't mind. There we go. It's letting you know that it's not okay. And let's get battery back in. Hit power. And we're going to get back on. You bet we are. And then it just said, hey, repairing. And then if you had alerts, it would tell you, um, you, you can say, alert me when it's trapped. Alert me when the rotary laser is disturbed. And then you can find um, your, at your phone. So maybe you're a quarter mile away from the rotary laser. You don't know it's disturbed, but your phone is going to send you the alert. So, gosh, am I missing anything? DeWalt, um, the, the, the green laser, of course, costs more. And I love it. I love how bright green it is. Uh, most of my work is interior work on this. Of course, concrete's not, but... Um, well, sometimes, I guess, if you're filming the living room floor. Anyways, look how nice that is to see. And, and by the way, it's easier to see um, with the live eye instead of with a video camera. But I can see it. Uh, I don't even see. But that's so fun to watch. The You can see it traveling. You can't see that with your naked eye, but on the video you can. Um, so, Tool Connect with the uh, Bluetooth and Tool Connect integration is the big deal. You can find and locate your tool. You can do inventory management with it. You can control your tool. You can customize your settings. Um, and you can monitor diagnostics um, of your tool. So, Tool Connect is a game, game changer. Uh, accuracy over 100 feet is plus or minus 1 16th of an inch. Mine came to me completely um, abused from something that broke here in the back. And uh, it was dead on accurate at 100 feet when I checked it. Uh, drop and impact resistance, IP67 debris and water resistance. So dust isn't going to get in. It can be underwater for, what is it, probably 30 minutes in, you know, a meter of water. Um, so all that to say, if it gets rained on at the work site, if it gets really drenched at the work site, if it gets dumped into a puddle, um, you know, or, or into a creek on the work site, you're, you're going to be okay. Uh, if it gets hit with a sprayer, you're going to be be okay so let's say it's in the mud you spray it off real fast no big deal it's good to go and it's going to just get back up and work again easy so uh and then 1100 foot um uh, range with the signal and i've seen different um numbers on that 2000 foot range um i i believe the 2000 feet i don't have an application to test that right now though so do all you knocked it out of the park with this tool i think everything uh i think it, it speaks for itself when um the fact that mine came with a case that has been I, i've never destroyed one of these cases and uh everything's still fine so here's all your external controls um duplicated on the phone you lift up your lid oh the feet are cool for when you do vertical stuff you know it just sits there it doesn't roll so there it is Put it in. I'm trying to latch through the video camera. And you're good to go. Not some massive case. You've got a, you know, it's compact, ready to travel. And then, of course, snaps in with the T-Stack. Thanks, Walt. This is awesome.